Now, your first alert forecast with meteorologist Corey Thompson. 6.43 now, and Corey, we've had pretty windy days lately. We have. We've seen, especially Sunday, where it was pretty gusty, and then Monday, yesterday, it was still breezy, I would say, but not as strong. Now, mm -hmm. today, we're seeing that improve even farther. Of course, one thing that produces very strong winds is a tornado. No real reason why I'm doing this for the weather-wise question today. I just feel like it. And we are still in the month of June. How about how many tornadoes does, average, does Iowa average in June, rather? The options are 2, 8, 14, or 20. How many? Think about it for a little bit. Severe weather risk here in eastern Iowa is non-existent today. Off to our west, though, there is an area of slight risk for severe storms later today in southern South Dakota, northern Nebraska. A more uh, enhanced risk here in southern Kansas and northern Oklahoma, where they could see a complex of storms develop and produce some strong winds later today. So that's the areas that are watching today. This area actually moves into southern Minnesota and western Wisconsin tomorrow, pretty close by. We'll have to see if any of the storms we see in our area get a little bit stronger, too. Winds uh, will be, like Jackie said, not as big of a factor as we head through today after a couple of windy days. Rain and storms are a possibility, though, as we head toward the end of our 24-hour period. That's where we could see some scattered activity by then. Air quality, as we've detailed a couple of times this morning, is fairly poor across eastern Iowa in spots. Not everyone experiencing that, and some areas actually seeing some pretty decent air quality, but we have seen pretty much everywhere see an increase in our particulate matter levels. And now Decorah and Dubuque included in the area that's just listed as plain unhealthy. So everyone should limit their outdoor activities there. People with respiratory conditions should probably stay indoors in those areas until conditions improve. We've seen a slow movement of that area to the southwest today. We'll have to watch and see how far it makes it. Piazza City Cam has a haze to the sky thanks to the smoke that is around. It's not because of moisture. Dew points are only in the upper 50s. That is not enough to make fog with these temperatures right around 60. Winds are also present out of the north generally between about 5 to 10. They'll stay from a northerly direction as we go through the day. Sunshine will be common, only obscured for the morning hours by the smoke in the atmosphere. By the afternoon, some mid and high level clouds move in, but they'll be pretty thin too. So I'm expecting still a fair amount of sunshine there. It's not until later tonight when more clouds build and we get a little bit of shower activity becoming especially more likely later tomorrow night. Again, it'll be pretty scattered. We're not looking at a big widespread outbreak of storms here. A few more storms possible in the south later in the morning tomorrow too. Today, we're we're expecting highs into the 80s. We will th see things warm up thanks to the sunshine. 81 in Decorah, 86 in Iowa City, 84 in Cedar Rapids. Mostly sunny skies look like a pretty good bet. Temperatures will be headed upward over the next couple of days. Mid to upper 80s tomorrow, near 90 on Thursday. That's as dew points increase too. Those showers that are possible, showers and storms possible tonight, are actually the leading edge of that area of warmer and more humid air that will be moving in. By this weekend, though, things turn a little bit less humid, perhaps a little bit cooler. With highs in the low to mid-80s before another warm-up as we head into next week. Your weather-wise question for today, about how many tornadoes does Iowa average in June? Is it not very many or quite a few? Well, this is really hard. I think I'll go C. C is correct. June, our most tornado-producing month in the state. Uh, more often than not, it takes place in the western half of the state okay. at this point in the season, but it certainly can happen anywhere in the state. We've only had one so far this month. Wow, that in was all in of Iowa? Yeah, that was wow. in Davenport the other night. Otherwise, it's been very, very quiet. In fact, still to date, no tornadoes have happened west of Interstate 35 in Iowa yet, no, it's strange which is here. extremely unusual. Right. Yeah, so we'll have to see how that pans out the rest of the summer. Exactly right. Thanks, Corey.